Hello there. In this video, I want to go over some steps that I'm taking to enhance image or photo that I took before inside the Stable Diffusion. So right here, it's example of Barocco with some Star Wars theme. It was kind of very interesting effect. And I was thinking, what about if we just start playing with some details? I don't know what we're going to do in this case, just maybe enhance, maybe border, maybe emblem. So we'll see how it's come up. For this one, we're going to use Stable Diffusion local installations with automatic 11.11 distribution. So for this, I'm going to image to image. I'm going to take the image that was created. Okay, there's our image. We go ahead, upload it here. And let's start masking for the for this we will go used actually in painting tool. Okay, and we need to figure out what to do. You know, maybe right here, just put something fun for the, do this. I want to be sure test its work properly. So I'm going to call Ewok, maybe baby Ewok. You know, one of those furry creatures. Okay, baby Ewok. And one thing I want to be sure I used about the same size. For this, we'll go to adjust our height to match image. And our height is Okay, 688. So we'll go back here. We'll go type height 688. And we'll go, let's go samples to 30, just a little bit higher. We have a scale 6.5, just a little bit lower. So we keep it closer to text. And let's go click generate. Okay, it's create some. I think that will work. Um, one thing I would recommend for you to use the right model. Uh, like if you used anime and it's trained only on anime art, it's one be photorealistic. So you want to do photorealistic. And you know we can actually do this photorealistic furry baby Ewoks. Let's try that one. Or we can just maybe add seating on the floor. I'm not sure if that will work. We'll see it. Actually, this worked very well. So what I'm going to do is click actually this icon to reuse this seed. So we'll see it. We can also always use the random and play around if you prefer. But what is this? We're going to use in here the seed. So like on the bottom, I'm going to use it brush and I'm going brush right the elements where I want to place it. So I'm going to just brush around here. Okay, next we'll go back. Let's go copy what we have it and we'll try one without seed and with a seed. One thing we'll be sure it's a sampling 30. 6.5. So we'll go back here. Okay, let's paste our text string. Okay, we'll have also sampling 30. Okay, and we'll have it 6.5. The denoise string, we can play a little bit more with this in a second. Let's go ahead and render and see what we have. Okay, I think it's a little bit darker. Something right there we change. Okay, let's try one more time. If it does not work, we'll just go seed that was in another image and try to put it that seed inside this image. Yeah, and I think it's a little bit too dark. So let's go try this. Displacement maybe also does not work very well in a dark area because it does realize how shadow and darkness there. So it's kind of work with this. Okay, let's go seed. We'll go paste this seed. Try one more time. And it's definitely better because we can see something, but not necessarily evoke. And in some cases, it's happened because we in painting and it's maybe a little bit too big for this, which is we're going to modify a couple of things, settings for us here. So we still have it within height. Same. We want denoise string. If we decreasing, it will be closer to the text. Now I'll show you what it's meaning. So let's go at like 35. Okay. We'll go render on this one. And in this case, it should stay a little bit closer to the image right there. I don't think it's look like a walk. It looks something like other things. But if we're going to increase even crazy like nine, this is give it more noise overlay over image. So it can create uh, more towards what we needed because it's have a lot of things to play around. And if we look right here, we definitely have it some food. I think it's just sitting like to all images. So it does not just take it small and place right there. So let's see what we can. We have it also resize, resize in the field, just resize. So let's go ahead and use it crop and resize in this case. Okay, and if we look, you see right here the food sticking. And the reason is why this is sticking there, 
if we go back text to image it will take all of this and try overlay over the size so what we need to do it says only mask area but because we put it only in mask area we'll have another problem come up right now let's render and you'll notice it's how we'll start clipping because we need blend a little bit better so right here is our image going okay and you can see it's actually place it right there which is kind of interesting but again it's hiding so we need blend a little bit better for this let's go ahead and take this down to 6.7 around this area and we want to increase blur area maybe about 20 and masking padding it will just pop up this as well so let's go ahead this way is allowed a little bit better and right there you can see it's kind of hiding behind so it's blend a little bit better of course because hiding behind we can always take it and if we want up front let's increase a little bit in size we can just take and right there with a dress we'll just plant right there there you go okay let's go ahead generate again mm -hmm. and there is a look much better so it's still right there a little bit blending i think i need it put it but it is definitely look a little bit better on the blending in this case so let's go ahead maybe add a little bit more in the corner okay let's go ahead increase also just a little bit more on the padding so it just covered us a little bit blur this edge a little bit better in the blending and sometimes actually i like to go higher value see how it's work and go back we could also play a little bit more with the CFG scale and the noise shrink. This is will again, it's how much noise will overlay and closer will be. So in this case, if it's override too much of information behind it, will decrease the noise. Be sure the original image, it will be there. Okay, I think right there, that one has come up even better. Again, right here, look at this. It's kind of cutting off a little bit there. And let's go reduce this one keep it a more image inside so it does not go out of our area and you can see it's a little bit better now so we don't cut the head its ears okay let's go now take this down to maybe about what five five and we also take masking a little bit even lower so i don't like when the ears was cut off and as well as inside it's how much will increase this way or down and a mask blur it's around help us bending a little bit better and there you go we have it a little bit more feed because probably i took too much down on the noise so it's not enough information to process and there's let's look right now yep it's definitely better look how it's a better in bending now we have it does not cut ears right there we so we still have it nice in, okay I think this has worked a little bit better. Okay, so when you satisfy, says okay. In this case, I think it's look good. Let's go click send to in painting because if I try to paint some other element, that will come up and says, hey, you know what? It does not work properly because we lose some masking. So now we can mask again, different. And right here, for example, we'll just go right on her chest, right there in the middle. And going with the embroidery. So I'm just going with the embroidery. Star Wars emblem, just right there. And we want to actually keep it same way original. We want to be sure it's only in a mask. So it's right here, not whole picture, just area. We leave it about same size. I think this should work well. We may need to rework some on the denoise. We'll see on this case. Now let's go click generate. Okay, so right here render is finished. Let's look what we have it. And it's more interesting emblem than just flower. Something more Star Wars. -y. Okay, so we're done with this one. Let's go next. We have it, our image modified. The other things we want to go is send to extra. And when we send to extra, we can increase in size. And the reason because it will be a little bit too small for us. Um, we increase by four times. I'll just give it this um, first as regular. Let's go clear, select upscaler. I'm going to select rare scan. 
um, we'll just leave it everything by default and let's go click generate what this actually does it will take image and creating was upscale version of this and this is, does provide a very interesting upscale personally I do like to use the actual gigapixel it does create a little bit more AI based upscaling which is work very well the one thing what we also need to do if you're going inside your directory and whatever when you created output image to image you find all your other images that we created is inside here so what I'm going to do is take one image with a bear with a evoke okay right here is our evoke it's what we created before and we'll just take another image as well one with emblem so you can see we have a two images and we're going to upscale them I'm going to upscale them to about 2000 pixels is what we needed okay and you notice right here is actually these original 2000 by 2000 so in painting actually did a very good job for us and this is just in case if you need higher resolution of the image or some other quality is lost and next we're going inside the Photoshop and in Photoshop, I'm going to take these two images, one with Epoch and another one. And I'll just go drag and drop on the top so we can preview a little bit better. On the first, you'll notice right here we don't have it Epoch and it's kind of messed up here, but we have it our emblem. And another one, we do have it our Epoch here. So I'm going to just take one with Epoch, drag and place it on top of this image. Okay, right there. We'll take another one with emblem drag and drop put it on top okay let's hide one and work with first when it's created I hold alt or option click on a mask to hide we'll take brush bish so the brush is soft round and we'll just set opacity 10 percent with a white color we can start brushing in our ewok the reason why i'm doing this way it's can actually i can match a little bit better where I want to place it. So right here we put it our Ewok. Okay. Next we can do the same with the emblem. Now we'll hold hold on Alt Option hide. Get closer with the rows. And we're just going to let's go with 30% faster. And we'll just go to change this emblem right there on the chest. So we'll just go paint in in here there you go okay we can apply a little bit better play around again this was just you remember i think this area it's where we mask did not work but again this as example it's actually worked very i like how it's come up come up very nicely um it worked a little bit too bright um i do find out when you start it's somewhat compositing in photoshop but if you do this 50 percent gray just fill it the layer switch to the soft light and we'll just add custom shadow so going right there set this one to soft light and start okay 10 percent and we'll just a little bit add shadows to hide it there you go so a little bit more blended our ewok and there you go we create our image in stable diffusion we replace some elements on the dress we also add additional character and overall i think this is just add a little bit more immersive to the star wars effect but still keep it all as theme and closer to the like uh baroque or rococo style in this case thank you for watching this video if you find it useful or anything please subscribe share Help me up the channel and I greatly appreciate all your support.